Howdy folks, Dave Tyner with NVIDIA here and today we're going to be looking at how to use the uh, paint tool in Omniverse Create to make something uh, fun and interesting. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is just jump into uh, the NVIDIA assets here and find the Omniverse logo. Then I'm going to go into the asset store and I'm going to find some flowers uh, from Sketchfab and I've actually filtered on Sketchfab here. So find some flowers, I'll, I'll keep poking away and looking. Um, go ahead and add a light to my stage and start uh, so I can see things. Um, okay, so here I've added some more flowers and uh, I'm just gonna go into my paintbrush here. I'm gonna create a new paintbrush and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my payloads from the stage and add them. And you're gonna have to remove probably a couple from the bottom I just get in there uh, on accident. But then I'm gonna adjust some settings on my brush and uh, make sure I save that brush and then with the object selected, I'm gonna hit flood. And that's gonna flood the surface of that Omniverse logo with, with all, the, um, all the meshes there that I've uh, dropped in, all the payloads I've dropped in. So I don't like that one, I want it to be a little more dense. So I'm gonna pump up the numbers here and uh, try it again. Get a nice little warning. And so this one's gonna be good. All right, so then I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to uh, move the original objects out of the way so I can see what I'm working with here. And um, then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna select the original objects and you're gonna notice as I scale and rotate them, they're affecting all of the, um, all of the point instances on the OV logo. So I'm gonna hide those uh, those lilies so I can see. Those aren't lilies, uh, whatever they are. All right, and then I'm just gonna play with some scale, play with some rotation, kind of look for the, look for the um, layout that I like the best. And now uh, in this stage, it's kind of updated. I, I have the layout I like and I wanna start animating. And all I'm doing is I'm animating the scale on the payload, the top level payload, and then I'm animating with the curve editor, the rotation on the, uh, the mesh objects underneath the payload. And you can see I'm getting some cool looking rotation out of this. Uh, then I go ahead and I go into path traced mode and I'm gonna add some fog. And to do that, I'm going to um, add a cube and make sure that I have um, is volume selected on the cube. I'm gonna right click on it, add a volume material, go in, find my cloud VDB that I got from Jenga FX for free, which is awesome. And uh, just drop that into the, uh, the VDB slot and um, make sure that your uh, non-uniform volumes are selected in your path trace settings so you can see it. And then uh, once you have it, just move it around to where you like it pretty easy. All right, and then uh, see here, I've just gone through and I've created some cameras, some different views, a little close up of the, uh, it's not a lily, that's a uh, orchid. And yep, and I've just done very small ro um, movement on the camera and then this is the, uh, the final effect, which turned out pretty nice, I think. Definitely interesting. So that is how I created that. And obviously you can use any mesh um, you want in this kind of a system. And you can you know, kind of get a fake particle system going with the paintbrush, which is pretty neat. So have a play with it and I'll see you next time.